in the position where it belongs. Um, her late great father did it for so many years, and she just you know took it on after that. And for me to be a part of such a historical franchise is a uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Not only for myself, but for my teammates, for the organization, for the coaches, for the trainers, everybody that's here. Um, we just want our respect. Rob wants his respect. Coach Vogel wants his respect. Our organization wants their respect. Laker Nation wants their respect. And I want my damn respect, too. <laughs> as well. You got a guy in your ear right now telling you're the greatest of all time. You're just a couple months shy of your 36th birthday. Yeah. Is this the longest crime in the history of professional sports? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is uh, commit to the game. Um, I put myself, my body, and my mind in position to be available to my teammates. Um, I've never missed a playoff game in my career. And uh, the best thing you can do for your teammates is to be available. And uh, for me to be available to my teammates and put in the work, um, I just hope I make my guys proud. And, and that's all that matters to me. I make my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. Akron, Ohio, we did it again. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You have had an incredibly close partnership with the guy over there to your left. What can you say about the way you two work together to get this trophy here tonight? I mean, it's easy. It's easy. Um, I said it in the presser uh, before. We have no ego. Um, we want the best from each other every single day, both in off the floor, on and off the floor. And I know what it means to have seven years uh, where you feel like um, that you can't get over the hump. You know, I had seven years my first stint in Cleveland. I felt like I couldn't get over the hump. I felt like I needed some help. I felt like I need someone to push me. And that's when I was able to go to Miami and get pushed by D-Wade and Bosch in that franchise. And so to be able to get him, and we push him and let him know how great he is, which is making him see better basketball and better to be a part of something that's special, that's what it's all about. So to be able to put him where he is today, I, I, that means so much to me. And the fact that he trusts me uh, means even more. You were very vocal coming in here that you weren't just trying to win a title in this bubble but you wanted to be a real voice for social change in what has been one of the most turbulent years in American history. When you look back about what the entire NBA Brotherhood did in this bubble, what will you think of? Uh, it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. We didn't know. It was an unknown. Um, but I think Adam, I think everybody from the NBA, the MBPA, putting this thing together, um, you know, and us using our voices, us using, being together, you know, you, you hear Golden State always use the phrase strength in numbers. And that's exactly what it was while we were here as a as the NBA, as the MBPA, all our players, everybody had a voice on what's going on in America. So um, we know we want to we all want to see better days. Um, and when we leave here, we gotta continue to push that. Uh, continue to push uh, social injustice, continue to push for voter suppression, continue to push for police brutality, continue to push for everything that's the opposite of love. And I think if we can continue to do that, all of us, um, America would be a, a much better place, which we all love this, this country. LeBron, thank you so much for pushing against all of those things. Congratulations on that trophy in your hand and your fourth NBA title. Let's bring up Anthony Davis, please.